Hey everybody, Rocks and Box and 90 here, back with Packing Cube, day 25. Yes, the final part of section one, or trial one, will wrap up today. If you guys are interested in getting in the giveaway, check out the description of the video, or at the end of the video, I'll be going over the giveaway thoughts and giving the Packing Cube trial 25 my thoughts about how it's going so far. But let's finish up our last pack, hopefully it's a good one. All right, our final pack for the first 25 videos. Hypnotic Spectre, Slayer Stronghold, Intervention Pact, Relic of Progenitus, Necropotence, Tinker, Protean Hulk, Deranged Hermit, Clone, Blasphemous Act, Remand, Frontline Medic, Step Links, Ether Spellbomb, and Urza's Rage. Wow. Okay, that's actually not a bad pack for our final pack. There's a lot of really powerful stuff here, which it makes it a little tricky because we could grab Tinker. It's just really awesome, and there's enough good artifacts to potentially make it worthwhile. Necropotence, if we want to go for mono black or black something, Necropotence is an insane draw engine. It may be not as broken as decks built designed for it in back in the day, but it's still a really strong card. Um, Intervention Pact often swings games. Um, it's a nice defender card, but it's not a pick one. Uh, Remand is, of course, a fantastic, fantastic counterspell. Frontline Medics, great aggressive step links. Uh, so what we see here is that blue has one, two, has two solid cards. Black has one solid card. There's nothing here I think that would signal because every color in this pack has pretty good cards. Uh, there's not four or five leaning one way or another. I think it's fair to say that I probably wouldn't force Necropotence even if as good as it is. Sorry about the glare, this lighting is not my best, but I make do with what I have. So Tinker is really good. Uh, Remand is really good. Frontline Medic, Step Links are both really good. You could also just say, you know what, to heck with this, let them fight over blue and um, blue and white and just go right for Mono Red. And, you know, Blasphemous Act is pretty solid, but Urza's Rage is also pretty solid for Mono Red um, or Red Splash. I probably would do that, I think. I think. Um, green, I think. Green and red would be the best choices. I wouldn't want to f necessarily fight for white, even though I could go for white. But this pack is very tricky for me. Basically, I don't know what to do in this pack. I need some help, guys. I, I really don't know what I would pick here. Uh, it really, I guess it would depend on my mood, honestly. If I was not caring and I just wanted to try for blue, I would probably grab either Tinker or Remand, probably Remand, because of just how awesome it is. Especially here, it gives you such tempo. And so it depends on my mood, but I really don't know what would be my first pick here. But I'd love to hear your guys' picks. So let me know what you think from this pack. Let's lay it out. All right, guys, pack 25. So this wraps up our first 25 videos of Pack and Cube. I'm going to take a break for a little while on this because I want to think about how to do it better and what prize I want to give. So don't expect to see this tomorrow. I'm going to have a poll which I would like you guys to go to and down below, and I'll have a number of options that I'm thinking about in terms of potential, I'm not sure if it's gonna be the giveaway stuff, um, and or it'll be relating to how I'm doing the series. I'm thinking about changing it up and doing it as if I'm drafting it, which means that each day, it'll show the last cards that we've chosen from. So to, you know, tw day 26 would be I pick a card and then day 27 would be that card would be in front of us and we would have to think about the pack with that card that we've chosen giving us a sense of actually drafting the packs and not just the first pick so maybe it would be automatically this would be my first pick if i wasn't already drafting and then this is what we have so let's look at the pack that's what i'm thinking about making it a more an actual cube draft experience that would be something I'm thinking about. Another thing I'm thinking about potentially is is doing it online as well because it will probably randomize it a little better than some, some, I noticed some of the packs here are not as well randomized as they could be. 
So I may potentially switch over to that depending on my camera situation and whatever I'm thinking about that. But regardless, you guys will find the polls down below. Please go check them out and put your thoughts and opinions there as well as in the comment section. And I will be having the giveaway results coming up very soon as well. So stay tuned for that. And let me know all your thoughts. Rocks Box 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.